In this video, we'll be covering the company level dashboard view. So first, you'll want to make sure you use the company selector to pick one of your customers. You'll then go under the overview section and tap into dashboard. Here you'll find our pre-built dashboards. Now part of the dashboards, you'll have a couple layout options. So first you'll see is usually the first page will contain the high level data that has infographics, charts, graphs, pie charts, visualizations, so to speak, of that data. You can make sure you scroll up and down to check through the different options that are going to be on the screens. And then you'll also find on other pages available will be kind of like the underlying data for some of those visualizations that you saw. So here are the application vulnerability details table, the network scan details table, etc. There's also going to be trending data on this particular dashboard that is showing trending data over the last 30 days, over the last 90 days, and over the last current year to date. So each of the dashboards are going to have different views and different pages. So just make sure you're looking through and scrolling. Sometimes they'll be hiding on you. Okay. You can switch between our dashboards up here in the top right. So we're on the overview. That's the default dashboard that you'll land on. You can switch between those dashboards, tap the drop down. You can scroll through that list up and down. And you just basically tap on the dashboard you want to switch to. You can also search that if you're looking for specifics, you can just start searching words there. So if you wanted to look for something like application vulnerabilities, or if you were looking for, let's say, external vulnerabilities, you can start to look for words. And again, tap on the names, and we'll switch you between those views. The dashboard will also offer a full screen option for the dashboard. So if you toggle on this, this will allow you to toggle between full screen and non full screen. Dashboards will also have a three dot action menu that allows for a refresh of a dashboard. Again, full screen options. You can download the dashboards in, into a PDF format or as an image. We'll also have some sharing options and interval fresh sync options here. So that three dot action menu will give you some additional options on the screen. And then you'll also have some filtering options built into the dashboards. Over to the left here, you'll see these options. And if you tap on these, you're going to see filters. Now, filters will let you apply global filters to some dashboards. Now, the external scan specifically is one of the dashboards you cannot filter globally. So you'll have a message that lets you know. But if we were to switch between different dashboard, I'll just go back to the overview dashboard, which is again that default one that you land on. So if we're in our overview dashboard and we go to our filter option, you'll see here we have some options to apply date range. So if you wanted to filter the dashboard for this customer on a specific date range, you'll go ahead and choose the periods there is either last. We have some preset ranges. You can go previous, you can go custom if you want to look for your own ranges and just specify them. So there's options there to filter this dashboard data down with those ranges. So again, if you were to set one of these, and I'll just say last month, for example, and apply. When you do apply filters to the dashboards, you want to make sure you hit apply. And then, of course, you'll see an indicator on the dashboard when a filter is applied. And if you hover over the tooltip, it'll tell you what filter or filters are applied. In this case, just last month. If you want to clear those, you'll go back to the filter editor, tap that clear all, and apply. So this is going to be your company level 